But there is a great opportunity for misinformation, especially on social media. I caution you to be very careful about what you choose to believe and on what basis. The horrific scene at a hospital in Gaza today, an explosion that killed more than 500 people. The government in Gaza says the Israeli Defense Forces uh, struck a hospital in the center of Gaza City. An airstrike hit a Gaza City hospital, killing at least 500 people. It's because of an alleged Israeli airstrike on a hospital in Gaza that Hamas health officials say killed more than 500 people. And when you're talking about 500 people, you have to wonder how many of those people are innocent civilians. That minimum, hundreds of people have been killed in what they say was an Israeli airstrike where a hospital was caved in, killing hundreds and stranding an untold number under the concrete. By far, the deadliest Israeli airstrike ever. Hundreds taking shelter at a Gaza City hospital were killed in an Israeli airstrike today. Israel says it was targeting Hamas hideouts. Palestinian officials saying at least 500 people killed in what they claim was an Israeli airstrike. Aftermath of an alleged airstrike on a Gaza hospital that killed more than 500 people. An Israeli missile struck the hospital. Absolutely horrific loss of life. This is not the first time violence has actually hit what's supposed to be on a place of healing. Deadly explosion at a hospital in Gaza. Palestinian officials say hundreds were killed and they're blaming Israel. This was not a blast. Uh, this was not an explosion. This was an airstrike. It was a deliberate war, war crime that Israel conducted on this hospital. At least two to three hundred people killed in that strike and many, many, many more feared dead. Now, Hamas is calling this a genocide. 200 to 300 people uh, believed to be dead at this stage. There are also many examples of, uh, you know, of civilian deaths caused directly by Israel. There's no doubt about it. In the fog of war, what can we say for sure? The Baptist Hospital in Gaza City, that's the northern half of Gaza, has taken a direct hit from an Israeli airstrike. They are saying at minimum, at minimum, 300 people are dead. Egypt is, is saying it's very upset about this this hospital bombing. It's, the World Health Organization has strongly condemned the attack. How about don't bomb the hospitals? How about you well, You just admitted that you did bomb the hospital? Today, the death toll rose significantly in a horrific attack in Gaza. 200 to 300 people were killed. The Palestinians are talking about 500 dead. Uh, some are, Initially, they talked about two or 300. They later up that number to 500. Uh, it is unlikely that a, a, a rocket, uh, a crude rocket fired by a Palestinian group could cause that number of casualties. Hard to see uh, how that would have been a, a misfire of rocket. This kind of death toll is not what you normally associate with Palestinian rockets. These rockets are dangerous. They are deadly. They do not tend to kill hundreds of people. And we should say finally that there are instances in the past where the Israeli military has said things in the immediate aftermath of an incident that have turned out not to be true in the long run. Quote, a mind from hell is the one who deliberately bombs a hospital. This is in response to the strike. Uh, at the hospital. This is a new level um, uh, in terms of the the fact that it was a hospital and the fact that so many people were killed. What is your understanding of what happened in this hospital? It's one of those situations where as I look at the two of you, Nicole, Rachel, sitting where you are at the studio, you do understand that what we've just been amplifying is what the Hamas have said. Hamas claimed that Israel attacked the hospital.